allow me to introduce you to the Swag Stag. Pimp Juice, one of my absolute favorite fragrances of all of last year, my most worn fragrances of all of last year. This is from the house of Robert Graham and it's called Fortitude. And this is everything you need to know in eight hope points. Going on YouTube, Tony here back with another review. Uh, today, uh, of course, I'm looking at one of my favorites from the house of Robert Graham. It's called Fortitude. Um, if this is your first time finding me, please consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up as I talk about some of the best fragrances on the market for men and women, and I do so in 10 post points or less. Uh, let's jump right into the review. Post points number one, um, I love, love, love this presentation. Um, as a matter of fact, when I first smelled this, the first night I smelled it, I actually bought it, but I bought the uh, 3.4 ounce, and the 3.4 ounce, uh, I noticed did not come with the same uh, cap, the uh, horned ram cap. It just had the bottom cap. I immediately canceled that purchase, and then went to the boutique and actually bought the 8.4. Um, and I, I believe the 8.4 um, is the only bottle that has the or the 8.4 sizes are the only bottles that have um, the the ornate tops this one has a stag there's a bulldog and then there's a I want to say a helmet or something like that on the other one only the 8.4 ounce bottles uh, come with that uh, but the more I smell this the more I was happy that I canceled that 3.4 purchase and I actually bought the the 8.4 8.4 now I will say that the cap on this looks very good in um, pictures uh, it has a nice little weight to it this is actually metal on top um, but don't try to support the cap it doesn't really click in place very well so if you try to pick this up it will it will come off it also comes in this huge coffin uh, I guess to compensate for that cap it's a bohemus of a, a, a coffin and it actually reminds me something that you would get if you bought uh, fine spirits or something and this is of course is my center of the day to show you a bit about the sprayer um, the sprayer works pretty good for the uh, concentration of the juice you don't get a huge spray um, but the performance on this is pretty good and so that spray I think uh, is uh, good for the amount of, the, the amount of spray is good for uh, the concentration of the juice. Now Robert Graham is known for being a little uh, eccentric and unique with some of the his clothing so you kind of have this uh, cloth um, ribbon around paisley purple it's all right not bad now post point number two bang for your buck let's talk a little bit about the pricing on these things so um at the time i purchased this i purchased the 8.4 it was 175 um unfortunately i can't find this day of uh, march 1st um 2020 i cannot find any 8.4 ounces uh, of the uh, of fortitude online uh, I have, however, found uh, on their website, the um, Valor and Courage are at 118. So if they ever get any Fortitudes in, it'll probably be around that 118 mark. If you uh, rather get the 3.4 ounce with the regular cap, um, those are $63 uh, on sale right now on robertgram.com. And of course, if you go to the gray market, there is, um, they're on Fragrance X and um, fragrance.net for I think 53 bucks now being that I paid full price for this uh, those prices the for the 3.4 to me in my personal opinion are absolute steals because I love this fragrance so it kind of worries me a little bit that they're so cheap not on the not only on the uh, gray market but on uh, robertgram.com and the fact that I can't find any three uh, 8.4s uh, may be signs that this one's going to be discontinued uh, so I'm glad I got the big 8.4 which should last me forever <laughs> I should be good 
if I were ever to buy a backup bottle, this may fall into that category of fragrance that's worth the backup bottle. So what does this smell like? So when I think I had a, a first impression of this video and the Halvey or something like that, I compared it to uh, a niche version of the one um, back when I was looking for a fragrance like the one with a little bit higher quality. I think this one uh, would have suited uh, that purpose. Um, it does smell like a niche fragrance to me. Uh, in fact, when I got the first sample ever, I sprayed it and uh, my wife happened to be walking by. She smelled it and she was like, wow, that's niche, what is that? Uh, without even knowing what the fragrance fragrance was. Um, and so it kind of has that, that air, that quality about it. So the one is a very good, pretty good comparison. The one is a fairly good uh, comparison in um, feel, not necessarily in smell. It kind of feels like uh, the one kind of puts you in the mind of that. Um, but to me, it's more like these two put together. So if Tonka, Imperial, and Bagari Man and Black Orient had a baby, uh, it would come out smelling like 42. So when would you wear this? Uh, to me, this is a um, primarily a cold weather scent, fall and winter. This thing smells so good, I actually wear it in the spring as well. I would probably avoid it in the high heat of Texas. Um, really not suited for that, um, but that's just my personal opinion. You can wear what you want. Uh, I kind of shy away from it in the summer, um, the, the hot months of the summer, but I do uh, use this on uh, cool, spring days. To me, this is for me personally a signature scent. Um, this probably was my signature scent of all last year. I wore the mess out of this thing. And with 8.4 ounces, uh, I need to wear a lot of it. Post point number five, the smell, of course I've braved over, it's top notch to me. Uh, it, this is, this falls into that uh, category of Oriental, which I love Oriental fragrances. And although it's not an amber based fragrance, it, it kind of gives you uh, some of that resinous feel that amber um, gives off. Now, technically there's only three listed notes, uh, tobacco, uh, patchouli, and tonka bean. Now, tobacco fragrances historically just work really well on my skin. Uh, so the performance on this thing is just jumps off my skin. I wouldn't say that this scent is complex, but it's also not boring. I would call it minimalist. Um, it starts out, um, some notes will um, fade to the back as some come to the front. So there's a little movement in it, but I wouldn't necessarily classify it as complex. Uh, again, I would say it's a minimalist fragrance. And if you like the way it smells at the beginning, you're gonna like the way it smells at the end too. Uh, you're not gonna get a lot, whole lot of change, even though the patchouli that's in the back uh, will come forward a little more as the uh, tonka bean kind of subsides. Um, it doesn't say that it has any spice uh, in the note breakdown, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's some some sort of pepper in this, black pepper or pink pepper. Now my nose isn't refined enough to, to dissect exactly which um, spice this comes from, but it comes across like a pepper. And if I had to guess, I would say black. Post point number six, this is said to come from, or uh, be produced um, partly of an aging process. Um, it says here the unique essences, and this is of all three fragrances in their lineup, are a product of a singular blending and aging process um, that yield a flight of rich and expressive scents. Um, so not sure what that aging process is, um, but the way that it's packaged in this, this um, coffin that kind of looks like um, something that you would get from a spirit um, that you would buy, um, and combined with the color of the juice, it does give you a bit of a boozy-like feel to it, even though I, would, I wouldn't um, necessarily classify it as a, as a boozy scent. Now, post point number seven, this is one of these fragrances, for some reason, I feel like fell through the cracks. Uh, not a lot of fanfare, not a lot of talk about this one. Um, have not ever seen this uh, in a store outside of the Robert Graham Boutique. Um, and so if you are looking uh, for something that uh, will set you apart from uh, other guys in your area, this one would probably provide you the uniqueness of not smelling like 
anybody else. I can't think of a specific fragrance that this smells like, even though it's not complex. And again, this could be a unique scent for you if you don't want to smell like everybody else uh, that's buying fragrances at the mall. Um, the fact that there's not a lot of buzz about it, the prices are dropping again, kind of worries me that this may be discontinued. Um, so I'm actually still you know, contemplating actually buying more of this because I, I really do like it that much. I should be good. Post point number eight and my final post point. Um, who is this fragrance for? Uh, to me, I would say this is for, um, this is a ladies man scent. This is a, I would classify this in that club genre for going out and grabbing people attention. Uh, this is one that thinks people notice when you walk into a room, uh, the performance on it, the smell of it, the construction of it is one of those fragrances that just gets noticed. Uh, and, and so I think this is definitely a um, alpha male uh, fashion forward um, person who really wants to own a room, um, get the swag stack. That's what this fragrance is. I do think this fragrance also will gather um, uh, compliments from the opposite sex. This is, this is definitely a fragrance that women I tend to notice. Um, I've gotten those questions for people um, who know me, that's in my circle, knows that I wear a fragrance. A lot of times they just let, well, this is Tony smelling good. Uh, he's wearing a cologne, but this is one of those fragrances that people's like, okay, now what is that? Beautiful? That one's good. Well, guys, that's all I have uh, for this review. Um, let me know what you think about Fortitude uh, down in the comments or any Robert Graham's. Uh, fragrances for that matter. If you've heard any buzz about these being discontinued, let me know. Um, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I should be good.